It was a Friday night, 2009, July 17th. So I had drank and consumed a half a fifth of whiskey and 13 shots of tequila. I was drunk. A girl named Priscilla Owens, she comes to get me. My friend Mike says, Nathan, you're not driving, right? I said, oh, no. I'm not driving. She is. She's been designated a driver. We got this. We're going out to TJ's. We're starting the fire. I'll see you in a little bit. Cool. We shook up and we're out the door. But in the process of leaving that bar to getting to the car, there's one question that I'm never going to have, probably ever have answered. And I can't quite put my finger on it. But somehow, when I left that bar, Priscilla gave me her keys. And I remember these next few moments, I remember the atmosphere, I remember what was being said, I remember everything, every part of it, I remember the, 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 the shorts that I had on, I remember more clearly than anything the next words I heard out of Priscilla's mouth, I remember them so clearly, every vowel, every consonant articulated so precisely, and it was so clear, as crystal clear as day, well the next words I heard from Priscilla were simply this, TREE! And when I hit that tree, that case of beer bottles that was behind her catapulted forward at impact. And that woman named Priscilla who didn't have her seatbelt on catapulted forward at impact. And that thing called the windshield in your car. And that case of beer bottles met with Priscilla in between. And she slid down to the floorboard and her neck rested on the middle console. Today, I'm going to give my attitude all that I got. I'm going to give my working on my character all that I got. I want to try to be responsible with all that I got. I want to be the best me with everything that I got, with all that I got. If we can every day look in the mirror and say, I don't need to be perfect, but I want to progress today. Every day, I'm going to get a little bit better. I promise you, accountability and transparency will change your life. As much as you want to sometimes isolate and be by yourself and think that you can do this on your own, you can't. You're not an island. You can't do this on your own. And it, yes, we gotta have our good friends. We need to have those people that can encourage us. But it's not just on a horizontal level. There has to be a vertical level. Those coaches, those mentors, those people that have been through some things in life, you need them in your life. You need counselors and people in your life that can see you and see your blind spots because we normally in life, we will not see our blind spots. I promise you, if some of you will just begin to take ownership of your life, and some of you probably are already striving and doing phenomenal and making good choices, I want to say keep going, don't give up, keep pursuing it, because I promise you, every single one of you were meant to leave your fingerprints on history. But I'm here to tell any of you in here, if you're battling, if you're struggling, you've got to know when to cut anchor and go on about your life because you can't be letting people live rent free up here. You can't be letting people hold you back and who you surround yourself with now. Because sometimes life can be tough. Life can be challenging. And sometimes the obstacles in front of you seem like they're too big and it's easier just to lay down. But you know what I remember? I remember when my dad used to look at me and the kids and listen, Nathan, life is never going to give you anything, but if you make it and if you build it, nobody can take it from you. Because hard work and tenacity and refusing to quit and chasing your dream, you'll get there, I promise you. Maybe you don't get the start or you land on the moon. You don't start to give up and you go after it and you stop caring for the opinions of people around you. Stop blaming them for being hurts. Take ownership of your life. Take off your mask. Don't feel the bear. Make good choices. Be a best friend. Encourage somebody. Be a voice of hope and inspiration. This is your moment.